E. Right, today I'm going to just do a very quick video on replacing clusters on Mark V Golfs. Now I've already done this one and it's quite a long and drawn out process but you basically go through VCDS to do it. So if I get the instructions of VCDS and the first thing it says you determine the, the immobiliser ID and the VIN number, that's fine. Then it says the new used cluster is installed in the car, battery voltage at least 12 volts, all relevant coding and adaption values have been transferred from the old original cluster to the new one, that's fine. Make sure to have both pins, okay, from the old original and the new used instrument cluster. This is where you come unstuck, okay? You need to find the pin number. This is where we use this piece of equipment. This is a go diag. Okay, and what it basically does is you plug into the back of the cluster. This is the one that's come out of the, the Golf. Okay, uh, you plug into the instrument cluster from there. So I'll do that now. So you have your little plug at the end. That plugs into the back of the cluster like, like so. Flip it over. We're not really interested in this anyway but this is the little puppy we use to get the pin numbers. So we need the pin numbers of the old and the new cluster. Okay, now what we do is take this end here. I'm going to switch on my go diag, which is basically power and ignition live. It all switches on, immobilizer active, of course. Okay, but what we're interested in is getting the pin. So if I now plug it into here, because I'm asked all the time, how do you get the pin numbers? Why do you need to get the pin number when, when my mate down the road can do it with his all tail or something like that to do the keys? This is not to do keys. This is to swap clusters. So what we're going to do is beep in there. Don't worry about it. Right, select function, read pin code, press that button. Okay, and within a few seconds, we'll have the pin. And there it is, there's the pin code, 1050, so 1050. So what you would do is you would do that one. Turn this off, rack it, get my finger out of the way. So you've got your pin, and you get the pin of the new cluster, the kit, and the pin of the old one. This is obviously the old one. And then it says, first of all, uh, security access, uh, for the following procedure, use the pin of the new used instrument cluster, four digit pin, enter the zero, and that, that's how you do it, and then go do it. And then once you've done that, you can then adapt the new cluster and then do the keys. And for the keys as well, to code the keys back into the vehicle, select a mobiliser, and the first thing it will ask for is the pin number again. Okay, now you've got the pin. So once you've got the pin of the new and the old cluster, um you can then do whatever you like with it okay so this gadget which is called vag key login which you can buy from i don't need i don't think you can get it in the uh, in the uk now um they seem to have stopped all sales of it but you can get it on aliexpress um and it works a treat this one i actually bought from hickley's a long time ago so this is the genuine piece of kit um, and it's really good. It was about 180 pounds um, But you just plug it in and it just reads the pin Okay, and you got the pin of the old one pin of the new one and you can then swap them over You can do keys as well if you wish but I mean all tail and all these other companies are doing that all the time um, But for swapping instrument clusters, this is the kit that you need. Okay. Thank you for watching